I'm Kevin Locken with Mitchell Acoustical, and today we're talking about the DeWalt Cutoff Saw. I've been eyeing this saw for a really long time since I saw it at the World Concrete uh, earlier this year. Uh, a couple of the things that really interest me is the weight of this. It's actually about uh, 10, 10 and a half pounds compared to the Hilti, the Still, or the Partner Saws, which filled with gas are about 20 to 25 pounds. It's gonna significantly reduce the wear on the guys, and that's one of the biggest things that we're trying to be conscientious of in back and hamstring injuries going forward. Number two, uh, we're trying to switch to all electric throughout our whole assembly line, and this is one of the last pieces to the puzzle. Number three, it's got about 15 minutes of cut time, or so we've been told. So, like I said, again, we're going to get this thing out in the field, and we're going to have to uh, to check this thing out. But but for just the the shop application, we're going to go through a couple of the, the the features that this thing actually has going on for it. We're not necessarily going to be using this blade too often. We will have it on site. I hope that DeWalt eventually comes out with a diamond tip blade for the abrasive wheels. Um, I know that they have them for the chop boxes and grinder wheels now where it's a diamond tipped you know, four inch or 12 inch, something like that. Eventually they'll come out with it for this so that we can cut a little bit longer. One of the things that I don't like about the abrasive wheels is the use case. Obviously you have to continue to change them and we're trying to get out of having to change blades all the time when we're, you know, when we're framing or we're put them, putting up a metal, metal building, something like that. One of the neat things and, and something that we always lose in, in field tests is that we always lose this wrench. Uh, so it's something that ha actually has a placeholder in here, not unlike any of the stills or the hilties where they give it to you on the side, but it really doesn't have a place for it to be put on the actual tool. So it's really nice that it sits in here. This is also where the battery goes. Slip it in here, pull this out. I think we've got a full charge on it. And pop that back in, you're ready to go. We'll go ahead and slip this blade on here. And then we'll go ahead and make some cuts. Uh, today we're gonna be cutting uh, 16 gauge slotted track and then we're gonna be going ahead and cutting a full bundle of studs, see how that does, see how it feels. I haven't even used this saw yet, so I'm gonna kinda of talk through some of my sticking points if there is any, uh, and then you know we'll eventually get a follow-up video where the guys actually talk about field use and, and how much they like it, or something that we can actually go above and beyond, let DeWalt know use case, like hey, we wanna see this, or hey, we wanna see this, and, and see if they come up with the product features. This looks like a 7 8 arbor on this. It's a lot like any of the, the partner saws or the gas saws um, where the blade is actually turned what I would consider uh, clockwise, where a lot of the saws are counterclockwise for the spin. That's about as easy as blade as you can get. A lot of times, you know, you don't, you don't, you you lose this, and then you're you're trying to work it off, and these get rounded out. But we'll go ahead and put the battery in, which is a monster, by the way, and we'll slip this in. So it does it does have a safety where it's clipped off right now, um, so we could just clip that over. And one of the other safety features that I haven't talked about yet is the brake. Um, you'll see a lot of the gas saws when you pull the trigger, it's got to wind down. This one actually has a brake on it. I think a lot of them are going towards that now, but this is one of the first ones that I've seen with it, so it's really nice. So we'll go ahead and cut some 16 gauge slotted track. gear up here. I have to do this because if I don't and my guys see me cutting without PPE, they'll yell at me just like I yell at them. All right, we're going to make a cut. It feels just as powerful as a gas saw. 
Um, it doesn't it doesn't feel any load or any any movement that you would in a gas saw. Um, so again, like I said, th this feels pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and cut a gauge uh, 20 gauge studs. We'll see how that feels compared to like what we would typically cut them with is, is like a chop box, uh, which tends to be kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but we're gonna have to see what this actually can do with a bundle of studs. In conclusion, this saw feels really good. In this shop, I can say that this thing is weighted very nice. You know, it's got a nice kind of balance to it. Um, it cuts really, really nice, as you guys can see. Um, I think the guys are gonna be really happy with this thing. We'll have to see how long the batteries take. But again, we're talking, we're talking about, you know, changing spark plugs, changing carburetors, putting in gas, mixing gas, when we're talking about the actual gas saw, which a lot of times in the pain in the ass. Then you've got to pull those things and sometimes the cord breaks, which then how long are you down for? So this seems very well thought out. Um, I would like to see a larger blade on it, because um, as you see, I had to come to the other side to cut the actual bundle of studs. But for now, this is a great start. Uh, I can't wait to get it out to the field, to the guys, to see what kind of feedback they have. Um, but again, DeWalt, I think, I think this, is a, this is a very nice start to this product. And I can kind of see it evolving into something bigger. But then again, maybe the batteries just can't handle it. For right now, the, the nine inch may be, uh, may be the best way for them to go with it, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know those specs. I know that the that the nine inch is a bit small um, for us. We'd like to see about a 12, maybe not necessarily a 14, but 12 helps us get the depth that we do need for cutting three and five, two and a half inch studs, stuff like that. We, we won't ever get one pass in six inch. Um, but again, it's a great start. Uh, I think this is gonna be a great addition to our tool line. Uh, just can't wait to see what the guys think of it when they actually get their hands on it. So um, hope you guys enjoy. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely, uh, just in kind of a first case use, recommend this saw um, to anybody that's kind of on the fence of, and thinking about buying it. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and hit us below. Uh, if you want to kind of follow along in some of the projects that we do, any of the tutorials that we may have, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Take care.